Hey, I want to thank all of you guys who had some great suggestions for how to make and improve those dips bars that I was talking about. And some of the best suggestions were to whatever I do to make those the same height as my table saw and so they can also double as an out feed or an in feed table. That is a fantastic idea. And then there was a really good idea to just mount it. Actually, a couple of these kind of ideas to mount the dip spars right into the studs of the wall using basically just two by fours is all you would need just and that would be plenty strong as long as they're you know supported as kind of a frame then you could use them as dip spars maybe facing the wall or you could go and do do rows you know facing away from the wall and i really like that idea but i just I just don't know if I want to dedicate any real estate to that in my shop. It's like almost all of my wall space is kind of accounted for and those dips bars would need to extend out, I don't know, at least 24 or 30 inches. So uh, I don't think I can use that idea. So the other idea was just to not even use the dip bars and just make some pull up rings for my pull up bar. And this is actually something my trainer wanted me to do. Well, I was working with her earlier this week and she suggested that I tie some straps onto there. So I got some straps out of my truck and it was just like killing my wrists and my hands. So I've got to come up with a better system than those. But I think I could just make like a strap even out with a rope or something and then maybe make some wooden handles. I think that might be a good idea. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I've got that kind of on the back burner <laughs> simmering, but what I wanna get involved in is something I've been meaning to do for a long, long time, and that's make a new closet organizer for my bedroom closet. So this is the bedroom. You may remember a couple of these projects. This one is from my channel a while ago, and this is from the Weekend Woodworker course. That's a bookshelf, but I got rid of, I don't really have any books anymore, so right now I'm using it for to hold shoes, which is really not a great idea, which is why I wanna get those into the closet. And this is the problem closet here. Oh, I wanted to show you this. I got this from Ikea, it's one of these touch lights. Oh man, that thing is so cool, it looks great at night. So anyways, we've got these bifold doors here, and you're gonna just have to excuse this because it's a disaster. It's really, really a mess. I bought this supposed organizer when we moved here, you know, like 20 years ago, and it's just got a rod here and then one down here. It's got one way over here that you really can't get to at all. But the problem is this thing is right in the middle. That's like the most valuable space and we really don't use all of this junk that's in here. So what I wanna do is put the rod, have the rod just go completely across here, all the way across. I'll probably still keep the shelf up here just so that you can reach that. But all down here, I want to have shelves for shoes and anything else. Hey, Cobra, you looking at the tripod? Bubbles. Hey, Bubbles. You need a theme song. The first thing I want to do is measure the actual opening size here and then lay that out in SketchUp and then I can go from there to try to figure out how to arrange the shelves. One thing I want to keep in mind is this. There's like a gap back here and not so much on this side so I'm going to keep that kind of in mind as far as being able to access things. Normally I don't like deep shelves. These shelves are all 18 inches deep but I think I'm just going to keep with that because because otherwise they would be too far back and I think it would just be almost wasted space if I didn't bring those forward. What I want is just a divider here to separate my clothes from my wife's clothes so we each have half the space. This is a really small closet. It's only six feet wide. It's a small house. What I've done here is just lay out the dimensions of the closet, 72 by 26 inches deep and 96 inches tall. And then I could figure out where to put things. So this is what I've come up with so far. I started with the bar up on top. Let me show you that right here. So I think it'll just be attached to the walls 
and it's going to have a back on it also. So the rod will just go all the way through and just be supported in the center and then attached on the two sides. And then this will be the shelf on the top. So with that in place, then I can start to build up from the bottom. This is the base. This is going to be just kind of basic cabinet construction here. Um, so there's the base. This will be like a toe kick, even though I don't really need a toe kick, but I don't like having just the bare floor going all the way back. I'd rather have this raised up a little bit. So then what I did is design the cabinets. There's one simple cabinet and I put in adjustable shelves. These are all holes for those little those little shelf pins that go in there because I'm not exactly sure where we want to set those shelves in place. So these will be uh, screwed onto this base piece. It looks like I didn't quite get these in place right here. I'll have to go back and fix those. Move that over a little bit. So then I just took that cabinet and I repeated it two other times. And then these, I'll just screw them all together in the closet. So that way it's sort of modular and I can easily install it. I don't think I could put the whole thing, build the whole thing in my shop and then put it in there. And then there's a top that just sets on top of those cabinets. This is face frame that'll go around the front just kind of kind of makes it look a little bit nicer also keep in mind we're going to just paint this i'd like to have it maybe a white bright white or something just to make it a little bit brighter in that closet and let's see oh and finally the shelves i'm, I'm not sure how many shelves we're going to need but you know there's kind of a layout idea of how they might work so that's all there is. And that looks like a plan to me. And in case you're wondering to design that, it took me maybe a little over three hours of just kind of playing around with it. It's like I've mentioned before, whenever I design something that I don't have a real clear idea in mind, I just kind of start with it basic and then usually I end up overcomplicating it and then having to strip it back down. So I, I like the plan the way it is here. Very simple. There's no real bells and whistles. You know, we went to this like closet store where they can, they'll do these custom design closets and you can spend like $5,000 on closet organizers and I just, I don't get it. I don't see it. First, we don't have a closet big enough for those kind of things. Those are for like, you know, movie star walk-in closets, I guess. But also, I don't know if I want to spend a lot of money on something that only two people are ever going to see. Well, and you guys. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, I'll go through my plans and make up more of a step-by-step -step procedure so I know all of the sizes of the wood that I want to cut. And hopefully, I'll be able to start sawing some boards tomorrow. I'll see you later.